I'm wearing blue jeans for the first time in like, I don't even know. Oh, you can't, I can't. The jeans aren't stretchy. <laughs> I can't even show you. I'm choking on my hair. Okay. <laughs> I'm wearing blue jeans for the first time in forever. Couldn't tell you the last time I wore jeans. Uh, because lots is happening today and then I have to go to a staff meeting and I didn't want to wear leggings. My work leggings because I'm not really going for work and I'm wearing blue jeans for the first time in forever, okay? It's a lot. My legs feel constrained. <laughs> Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about The Luck of the Irish. The Luck of the Irish is a 2001 Disney Channel original movie. It's directed by Paul Hohen, cinematography by Robert Stedman, editing by Jim Oliver, music by Christopher Brady, and it's written by Andrew Price and Mark Edward Edens. <laughs> Paul Hohen is best known for Zombies, Andy Mack, Camp Rock 2, and Let Shine. Robert Stedman is best known for Never Say Never Again, Above the Law, Body of Lies, and Hollywood Homicide. Jim Oliver is best known for The Piano Lesson, American Anthem, Miracle in a Box, the Piano Reborn, and The Heist. Christopher Brady and Mark Edward Edens I've covered in previous videos that we listed and linked in the description. Andrew Price is best known for Jeopardy, Star Trek Voyager, Remote Control, and Turn It Up. The film stars Ryan Merriman, Henry Gibson, Alexis Lopez, Glendon Chapman, Marita Garrity, Paul Kiernan, and Timothy Omenson. Omenson. Ryan Merriman plays Kyle, and I covered him in the video about Smart House, link will be in the description. Henry Gibson plays Riley O'Reilly, and this was known for The Blues Brothers, Nashville, Magnolia, and Inner Space. Alexis Lopez plays Bonnie, and is best known for Even Stevens, Summoning, Seventh Heaven, and this. Landon Chapman plays Russell, and is best known for Love and Basketball, Eraser, Baby Geniuses, and this. Rita Garrity plays Kate, and is best known for Don Juan Marco, Broadcast News, Sleeping with the Enemy, and Groundhog Day. Paul Kiernan plays Bob, and is best known for Darling Companion, Little Secrets, Road to Redemption, and Daddy Day Camp. Timothy Omenson plays Seamus and is best known for judging Amy, Starship Troopers, Gallivant, and Psych. His parents were being so creepy at the very beginning about his heritage, like how they were like blatantly ignoring the subject and being kind of like, like actually creepy about it. Um, I didn't blame him for being like, yo, what's with my parents? Speaking of Ryan Merriman, he is so much more, like he's grown up from Smart House, but I remember being young watching Smart House and Luck of the Irish thinking like, ooh, he looks older and older when he's a teenager. And now I see him in both movies, like especially Smart House, but this one I'm like, oh, he's he's the baby, he's a child. And it's so weird to be in that position because I remember thinking like he looks so much older and like all that kind of stuff when I was young and obviously he is older than me, but seeing him in these movies now as an adult, I'm like, oh my gosh, he's a baby. What a baby. <laughs> The music for this was very fun. The idea for this was very fun. I liked the concept. I love the Irish theme, the leprechauns, the magic of it. It was very fun. Losing the luck was very funny. I liked all of that very much. I thought that was all very fun. The movie was also very fast paced, which I loved. So shout out to the editing. Jim Oliver, nicely done. However, there were pieces of this that I wasn't huge on. Um, uh, Alexis Lopez and Paul Kiernan, by far the weakest links acting wise. Paul Kiernan was like, it just seemed like he was, just didn't care and was phoning it in. And then Alexis Lopez, I don't know if it was the director's fault or what, but she also seemed like, I don't know, like it just didn't seem like acting. Like it just seemed like she was like trying to play pretend or something, which like, you know, that's what acting is, but I don't know. I don't know how to put it. It seemed all very phony and fake and like she wasn't actually her character. Um, it's, and Paul Kiernan was just, ugh. Paul Kiernan was not good. Anything he said as the dad, I was like, okay, sure. I buy that 100%. Not. And then uh, the film would like, felt very propaganda-y because it was very like pro-American. It was very like, America is an amazing place. We're a melting pot. And like, they like multiple times throughout this movie, they're like, you're American. Be proud of that. We're American. Be proud of that. America's great because it's the land where you get to come and like become who you want to be. And like, it was very propaganda. -y. I mean, I was like, why are we like trying to sell everyone on America right now? Like what is going on? And um, it made me uncomfortable because while well, the idea of America being a melting pot of cultures and is a beautiful place for where everyone's accepted, is a beautiful idea, it is so not the reality. And we've discussed that before. So I'm not gonna dive into that. But it was very, like it felt very propaganda-y a little bit. 
Um, what I, another part I really did like was uh, Bonnie and Kyle didn't have a romance. I feel like they were trying to like semi infer that maybe they might be into each other or whatever, but it didn't happen, nothing happened. So I'm choosing to believe that they are just really good friends and that's amazing because I'm obsessed with that because as much as they might have been trying to infer between different like shots or whatever, um, I'm saying no. They are besties and I love that. So on them because they didn't make it actually happen. So <laughs> they're friends and I love that and we stand. Um, anyway, I absolutely hated that they ended with This Land Is Your Land. I forgot that they ended this movie with that because I have seen this movie before. Uh, it has been a very long time. Um, but I, they say he started singing This Land Is Your Land, This Land Is My Land. And uh, I said, oh no, out loud while I was watching. <laughs> because it's just like, no, that is not the ending to the movie. Like, no just know it was very uncomfortable and just like what a cherry on top to like the propaganda uh like pro-american rhetoric they had going on it was it was kind of icky i didn't like it that's everything i have for the luck of the irish pretty standard decom pretty average run-of-the-mill decom um i do like smart house better i like 13th year better um i really liked quince i definitely like quince better than this but again it's not you know as bad as like i didn't like the other me very much or um you know those uh i thought i thought this was pretty average pretty entertaining um, I don't think I'll go out of my way to ever watch this one, but it is fun and it's a fun, fast story. So like on St. Patrick's Day, if someone was like, let's watch Love of the Irish, I'd be like, all right, cool. Sounds good to me. Uh, okay, so my final rating, Xander's making a quick appearance here, even though you could hear his breathing throughout this whole video, I'm sure. My final rating is six golden coins, gold doubloons out of 10. Our total movie count is... Parent.salt and Cry Count are still the same. If you want to keep up with the movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. You'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put out videos every Monday and Friday and sometimes Wednesday. Join Patreon. I have a tier starting at just $1 and lots of benefits come with all the tiers. We have daily trivia in the community chat, so come on over there. Uh, buy merch. Merch is amazing. I love the merch very much, so go buy that. And until next time, comment, like, and subscribe, but I'm not in charge of your life. You are, so you do, and don't be... Seamus about it. Sander? Sander, would you like to leave this room? Do you want to go out there? Do you want to go out there? Yeah, you want to leave the room. Can you come give me a kiss? Come here and give me a kissy. Come here and give me a kissy. Come on, 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 come on. Come give me a kissy. Give me a smooch smooch. Thank you. Thank you. That's my good boy. Okay, I let you out.